right. This is my Ballyhoo rig. In my opinion, it's one of the best rigs out there. Um, I caught all kinds of species of fish on it. Um, it does a very good job. <clears throat> that is one of my favorite colors, the pink blue. And uh, combination, cotton candy color. I love it. It's probably one of my most productive colors other than just straight pink. Um, and what I wanted to show you guys is something I do. Now, this could be a basic little rig and it'll be fine. And a basic rig meaning without this titanium leader here, or stinger hook, should I say, not leader. Um, I added this. Now, you can buy pre-made Ballyhoo rigs just like this that have this little cone here, you know, goes over his bill after you put your hook in and, you know, goes over your little wire right there, and keeps it steady, gets him swimming perfectly in the water. That's great. Uh, I have caught many a fish that way. I have also lost many a fish due to short strikes, and that's what I'm saying here is one of my favorite uh, ways to rig a Ballyhoo rig, and probably my most productive. I catch everything. Anything that hits it just about gets hooked. I have still had them bite it, and I missed fish. But that being said, this video is about the perfect Ballyhoo rig, which in my opinion is this right here. Now, even if I buy pre-made Ballyhoo rigs, I always put this stinger hook on. Um, it just, you know, a lot of people say, well, the bait doesn't swim just right. Not necessarily, in my opinion. I I've gone off my experience, I can get the bait to swim almost perfect even with this trailer hook. You might have to, you know, adjust your bait accordingly, um, depending on whatever's going on with it to get it to swim perfect, but you can get it to swim almost as perfect as without this uh, stinger hook right here. Now, does it cause it to not swim as perfect, like as far as like a fish moving in the water? Maybe, but honestly, we catch fish on spoons, on artificial baits, uh, come on. I mean, look, you got this big dinky, uh, you know, basically teaser in front of it, they hit it. It doesn't matter. As long as there's a big beautiful ballyhoo back there swimming with a little tail action, they're gonna hit it, I promise you. And um, so what it is, is this is a standard rig, if you're familiar with the trolling in ballyhoo rigs. This is a standard rig, very simple. Um, you got your little spring there, you hook onto it, you know, put it through the bill, put it in. Now this, I put on myself. And right here, is titanium this is not too kinky titanium it's awesome it um, basically just sits right there in that hook and I got it to where it sits straight back like that if you can see that and I put a little crimp on there so it really snugs it down and the reason why I like the titanium because I have gone with um, you know regular wire regular wire will bend up after one good big fish this will be bent to hell and back and it's done you either gotta put a new one on there real quick or you break out another rig well with this not too kinky titanium wire you can bend it all you want as much as you want and it just it's, it, it comes right back to itself that it has no memory and you can just keep on catching fish time and time again now after about i don't know a few fish i come back and i look at my right here i look at my main line and make sure it's not uh chewed up make sure it's not frayed out now if it's good i keep right on fishing with it and you can catch a bunch of fish i've caught probably five or six king mackerel on this exact same rig without changing anything because it 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 works without kinking your wire doesn't you know get all kinked up and messed up and guess what throw that ballyhoo back in the water real quick get right back on especially when the mahi bite is on that's really what this is the best for because when they're thick even the king bite when they're thick and there's a bunch of them you don't have time to just throw all, you know pop another one out there throw it on real quick throw it back out there or cut off you know your wire put a new stinger hook on and throw it out there or if you're getting those short strikes like i'm saying you keep you know you're wondering what's going on this does the trick guys if you want a perfect little ballyhoo uh, rig setup. This is it, and I catch everything. If it's a Spanish, if it's a king mahi, I've even caught cobia on this. I've caught big mahi on this too, um, and big kings on the stinger hook. You'll be amazed. The fish aren't scared of it. Just give it a shot, and you can see how I kind of got that there. You tie it on, you crimp it on.
promise you, you won't go wrong with this rig. And uh, trust old Spence Daddy here. I've been doing this for a minute and I had to pretty much teach myself. I had to buy my own boat, go out there and do all this stuff and try it. And I'm telling you right now, I only need a couple of these rigs. I can go out there all day long, control yeah. this baby. That skirt sits right in front of it. It's nice and, um, nice and you know, pretty. It's got that pretty purple and blue. And that trailer hook just kind of slings back there. Bounces off of his tail. They don't even recognize it. They smoke it every time. So give it a shot. Go make you a couple. Uh, get you some of that titanium, not too kinky wire. I think that was 28 pound, if I'm not mistaken. You can get 40 two or 48 pound you can get as much as you want as thick as you want or as less you want i usually go pretty uh small on my titanium it uh holds up very well and they can't see it as good and it actually has a little stretch to it which is crazy it's wire but that titanium will stretch a little bit so give it a shot you will not be let down and um good luck fishing like subscribe give me a thumbs up